little hiatus during March, and this is our first show back together. Ladies, it is so good to see all of you. I missed you guys. We have so Same. much to catch up on, so let's start off with some girl chat, shall we? We yes, want to first start by, you know, giving a little bit of a congratulations to you, Jeannie, on saying I do to the love of your life. You married Jeezy in a small intimate ceremony on March 27th in Atlanta at your home. It looked so beautiful. You both looked happy and gorgeous. So I just want to know, how does it feel to be Mrs. Jeannie Mai Jenkins? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Garcelle. It, um, it feels actually right. Uh, for the past year and a half, you know, as I've been celebrating the little milestones between Jeezy and I when we first met on the show, by the way, it, it always felt a little off to describe him as my boyfriend or somebody that I was just dating because it felt so much more than that. So today, actually with my EP, Rachel, I officially signed my name for the first time with Jenkins to it. And so that we can put it into the show credit that you guys see today. And that was the first time I've ever signed it in its official way. So I'm so proud to finally be Mrs. Jenkins. So is that official? Like that's your new name? Like you are Mrs. G, like my becomes your middle name. Yeah, and you all, my is, it's just my full name. Jeannie Mai Jenkins is just my full name. I, I know you and yeah. I talk about the importance of names, and I even know on this show that I've always said, you know, I wasn't ever going to commit to that, but I realized yeah. that you can never say never, first of all, and when it actually feels right, when you feel just like, it, it, it couldn't be that. I couldn't be with Jeezy without being his whole, his, his name, who is his family name is about and what he's about. So I'm proud to, to put that name onto mine and, and to blend our identities together, you know? And I have to tell you, ladies, you guys were the first three people outside of our family to know that Jeezy and I decided to do a secret ceremony. And um, calling you each was such a it was such an exciting moment to actually tell you guys about it. Garcelle, even when you told me about Oliver and his private ceremony, it encouraged me so much to be able to make this decision for ourselves. Um, and it was a really hard decision too, only because of COVID. You know, if it weren't for COVID, we actually were planning to have the wedding that we wanted. I mean, imagine if I've got, you know, my full gamut of friends, imagine Jeezy and, and his entire journey of his career and all the friends that he would want to have there, but there's no way to do that with COVID. So I just appreciate you guys because um, after Jeezy's mom passed, we realized that life is way too short and tomorrow is never promised. Yeah. So to us, mm -hmm. it was just most important to exchange our vows and begin our life. And we can celebrate the big, the big wedding later on. I love that. Well, Jeannie, your dress looked absolutely gorgeous. Can you tell us a little Thank bit more you. about it? Yeah, absolutely. So this dress I envisioned... Um, right when Jeezy proposed. I knew that I oh, wanted wow. something very effervescent and nude. I did not want to wear white because we all know that white uh, symbolizes purity and that ship has sailed. Shut up, Lonnie. <laughs> but I knew I wanted nude because the color, it represents, um, it represents how, how skin deep I want to be with Jay. It, it, it's, it's a color that represents how transparent we are with each other. And there was a lot of symbolism in the ceremony itself. Even the wedding arts, you notice that they weren't flowers. We chose palm leaves, which is very popular in Vietnam. Um, they represent power and eternal life. And then the Italian ruscus on the other side of it represent humility, which is obviously before God. That was just, we wanted peace, eternal life, and humility there. And um, everything Beautiful. was symbolic, even our rings. Um, down to our wedding rings, we didn't do anything traditional. I personally love the engagement ring that Jay designed for me. I couldn't imagine stacking something to that. So I did pinky rings, um, one for him and one for me on my fingers. And he had a two-toned wedding band because he's such a fancy guy. Guys, nobody, by the way, we've never talked about Libras on this show. I did not know that Libras are a whole nother level of fancy, man. They, lo they love just their aesthetics. So that man has a platinum ring on one side and a rose gold ring on the other side so he can switch it to match his watches because they're either that. platinum or rose gold. And um, yeah, everything we did was very untraditional. <laughs> I well, love that. Yeah, I saw you about... had a pinky ring. That yeah, looks so you guys, cool. This is, this is it. This is, this so is all I want. So that's your wedding band. Yeah, so these are my wedding bands. One for him and one for me there. 
<laughs> so pretty. That's cool. Thank um, you. Dean, we have to talk about somebody else who was looking really good at your wedding was Mama Mai. Mm -hmm. I loved her whole headdress. I mean, she looked Dude. so fancy. Yeah, she she did. Thank you. You know, she started out. I told, I told everybody in the family. I said, please, everybody, we want you to wear off white. Do whatever fabulous ensemble of off white you can. And I even gave them a little Pinterest board with some examples. The first thing she texted me was the first off white thing she grabbed, which was in our house at home. It was a curtain, like a drape. And I was like, are you serious? Is that what you're gonna wear? And she texted me there. She said, yes, it's beautiful, it's off white. And I said, mom, can you just make it look like it's a little bit more less curtain and a little bit more ceremony? So she went and upgraded. She went to, I think it was Home Goods, and she bought this beautiful fabric, gave it to her friend Danny Couture, and he made her that ensemble. She picked some plant leaves for the hat, and. The whole time, you guys, people, if you look at our pictures of the, the, the wedding party, everybody's always like this right behind Mama Mai because they can't see past that thing. It was like <laughs> the woman at church with the hat, you know? I can't even. I love even. that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And uh, I understand that you and Jeezy chose to put a twist on their traditional Vietnamese uh, tea ceremony, which also included honoring the memory of his late mom. Um, can you yeah. talk about the importance of that and why you guys chose to do that? Yes, yes. A big part of uh, Jeezy and, and our my love is just celebrating our cultures. And teaching him about the Vietnamese tea ceremony was so special because the tea ceremony is so big in Asian culture. It basically is the step before you get married where you have to thank the parents for the life that they gave you. We would not be here if we weren't. Uh, you know, if it weren't for them. And so having Jeezy's father and mother, Mama Sharon, they're in attendance and, you know, watching Jeezy's dad clink glasses with um, Mama Sharon's cup and, you know, exchanging vows with them and bowing, you know, we, we bowed and um, that was so special to do with Jay too, especially because his suit was so tight that we, he told me he had a method. He was like, one leg down, one leg up, one leg down. <laughs> and so my brother... Uh, officiated the tea ceremony to explain to everybody what was going on. And he says, he says he heard a little rip from Jeezy but to this day. He's not confirming or denying, but he, he did hear an audible. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's funny. You know, I was reading that Tyrese was there. So what was up with Tyrese being there? So that was a big surprise. I had no idea that anybody was gonna come perform because you know we, we sat down and we had dinner and we had our favorite band that was already playing our trap jazz versions of our songs and there's nothing like watching the front door open and through the hallway you know like where people take their shoes off to come in <laughs> like through the hallway walks Tyrese with the mic check check ready to go sweet lady and you're like wait what <laughs> what that was incredible to have Tyrese there and, and singing such a beautiful song and he also posted on Instagram a really sweet message that I, I just I was so touched I was moved to tears reading it so thank you Tyrese for being a part of such a special moment for us wow that is so cool um, did I hear <laughs> that Jeezy's sister threw you a very special and beautiful brunch the day after your wedding yeah, oh, wow. so so Katrina wow. is Jeezy's oh, sister, nice. and she she's a beautiful person. She's, she's beautiful. so dope. She has an event planning. Um, uh, she has an event planning company called Katrina's Elegant Events, and she put together the dopest Sunday brunch. Like all of our favorite foods, shrimp and grits, a lot of a good old taste of Georgia, you know. And she made it so eloquent. She even like just like put together these specific pieces with our initials all over it. And sitting in our house and having just the family prayer around the table was such a, it was a, it was a, it was a very sacred and so beautiful, tender moment. I, I can't describe to you what it was like to just see everybody join hands like that over our union. You know me, I'm over here looking at the pictures, looking at the house in the background because I love your <laughs> new home. The home that you oh, guys built you, together Adrian. is I know, so you're, stunning. You've got good eyes oh, so I'm design. like, I yes, I that. love. <laughs> Um, but Jeannie, everyone always says, and even for myself, I felt like the wedding goes by so fast that you sometimes yeah. don't even have time to eat. Were you actually able to soak up everything? And um, did you have a favorite moment that stood out to you throughout 
the entire wedding. Did you have a moment that you're yeah. like, this is going to stay with me I know, forever. me and you have to, we have to talk over this, Adrian, because I remember so much from your wedding. Um, one of my favorite things that you and Israel did a lot of is I saw you guys kind of tuck away a lot and, and you know, mm -hmm. sit together and whisper and laugh and have your little moments. Yeah. And for Jay and I, that was our favorite part of our ceremony. I even have a picture here that I wanted to share just for you guys because um, this was the only moment we had where we actually got away from everybody and was just able to sit and bask in the, the, the reality that we were married. And so for Jay and I, being in our home, I think was my, our favorite moment because obviously yeah. we built this home for the beginning of our lives, but to now look at moments, like a wall isn't the same without picturing Mama Mai over there singing with Papa Jenkins or looking over to the side to see my brother embracing one of Jay's cousins. And, you know, every single area now has a moment that took place from the ceremony. So, so I think that that's the part that, that holds nearest and dearest to us is being able to just have that where we live. Well, congratulations, well, Jeannie. Jeannie. Congratulations. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. We're all so Thank happy you. for you and Jeezy, and we wish you both a lifetime of happiness.